secret. Now, it's pretty hot today, and in fact, a member of Greenville High's football team had some major problems, some heat exhaustion. So Joe, out live for us in Greenville, has some information on how to keep your kids safe during this very hot weather. That's right. In light of this collapse, the Greenville County School District says they don't plan on making any changes to their summer football conditioning program. They say they have the staff in place to make it safe enough for their athletes. A day of conditioning turned into a day of worry after a Greenville High School football player collapsed in the heat. But District Athletic Director Bill Utsi says he's not sure why. And I, I couldn't tell you why. Maybe he didn't eat breakfast. Uh, yeah. You never can tell. So you're sitting at 95 with 46% humidity. Meet Gil Gilliland from the Stedman Hawkins Sports Medicine Clinic. He's a trainer who helps teams decide if it is too hot to practice or play. And if you're outdoors, he knows how serious problems can get if it's too hot. As you exercise, you can produce 10 to 20 times more heat than in normal sitting around activities. Uh, and with the heat and humidity, you're unable to cool your body off due to sweating. He says athletes must drink water or Gatorade as much as possible. Hydrate while you're competing as well as post-competition. You need to hydrate. But trainers also have ways to decide if it is too hot. And one of the tools that trainers use is called a psychrometer. And it tells them if it's too hot and too humid to participate in activities outdoors. Then they take the numbers from the psychrometer and use this chart. The darker areas are the danger zone, the red zones, which is no outside activity at all. I see. And so if it got into that zone, how long should you be outside? We don't participate at all outside. We totally cancel our practices and, and back them up. The school district does not plan on changing any of the rules since that player collapsed. So you guys find out like, how this happened. Is there going to be any changes to the no. protocol? No. No. Just I mean, tell kids to drink more water? I guess. Well, you tell them that all the time. Yeah. I mean, and the county will not release the name of the player, but they say he'll be just fine after his collapse. Live in Greenville County, Joe Gagnon, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.